we're going to be reading Madeline Says Merci, the Always Be Polite book. Can you point to the title on your screen, please? Great. Madeline Says Merci, the Always Be Polite book <clears throat> by John Bellamans Marciano. <coughs> Excuse me. And what page is this? Good, this is the title page. While we read, I want you to pay attention to some of the characters in this. Oh, another title page. Marilyn, Madeline says merci. Merci means thank you in French. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. Day in, day out, they got along fine. They'd hardly ever shout or whine. To each other, they were polite, except for the occasional pillow fight. The pages that follow offer advice on how to be polite and nice. As you read, please keep in mind, it all comes down to being kind. Don't forget to think of others, parents, pets, and little brothers. Hello. The proper way to greet someone you chance to meet is to look them in the eye and say hello or even hi. The hello that's the most worthwhile is the one delivered with a smile. When a grown-up is introduced to you, look up and say, How do you do? If they extend their hand to take, offer back a nice firm shake. Firm shake means a hard handshake. But when you meet the queen for tea, the proper thing to do is curtsy. To greet a dog, you kneel down low and give a gentle pat hello. When meeting a group, don't just say, hey. Say hello to each and to all the same way. But when the most you can do is wave your hand, the other person will understand. Please and thank you. To ask for something, what do you say? Please. Or in Paris, s'il vous plaît. That means please in French. When it's your turn to pass the plate, smile, be generous. Don't hesitate. Now that you have what you desired, the words thank you are what's required. You're welcome is the thing to say after thanks have come your way. So when somebody says thank you, what do you say back? You say, you're welcome. Every gift deserves appreciation, no matter what the situation. If it's something you ask for, a happy surprise from the store, unwanted gifts you find a bore, what you had seven of before. A thank you spoken is a very nice token, but a thank you letter is even better. Because getting a thank you in the mail will brighten your day without fail. Kindness and consideration. If somebody wants to talk to you, listen to them until they're through. No matter if they talk till dawn, don't interrupt, look bored, or yawn. Hold your words and don't be vexed. Your turn to speak is coming next. Interrupt only if you see a prisoner running free, a porcupine who wants to play, a solar eclipse, 
Look away! A bucking, snorting, runaway horse, or a house on fire, of course. Don't be selfish and give in to greed. If you're greedy, it means you want everything for yourself. Don't be selfish and give in to greed. Here, I have more than I need. It can be lots of fun to share. And taking turns is always fair. Don't punch and shove when you play. Only a bad hat acts that way. And what kind of hat does it look like she has on? It looks like she has a witch's hat on. So only a bad hat acts that way. Nobody likes a boastful boar who brags, My dad's a rich ambassador. And to whisper, point, and stare shows you're rude beyond compare. So don't whisper and point at people when you're talking because that tells people you're talking about them and that's not very nice. An animal is a friend, not a toy. This sort of thing she does not enjoy. Sometimes she wants to be left alone to sleep or chew her favorite bone. If you let her have her way, she'll come to you when she wants to play. No one minds a little help. Start by cleaning up after yourself. Do the dishes, sweep the floor, take out the garbage, hold the door. Sorry. Accidents happen without intent or warning. So without intent means sometimes an accident will happen and you didn't mean to do it. That's why it's called an accident. If you didn't mean to do it, if you didn't mean for someone to get hurt or to spill something, that means it's without intent. You didn't mean to do it. Accidents happen without intent or warning. Madeline spilled her juice this morning. Excuse me, please. I beg your pardon. And after that... It was forgotten. If you do something you know is wrong, such as going where you don't belong, don't make it worse by telling lies. Say you're sorry and apologize. Teasing someone isn't cool. It's never funny, often cruel. To redeem this ugly business, Try and beg for some forgiveness. That means you can say sorry. If you do what you shouldn't dare and give your teacher quite a scare, apologize to her and then never do that thing again. Excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Do not, does not mean that you are free to push or shove obnoxiously. Just because she's saying sorry and pushing through everyone, does that mean that's okay? No, you still have to wait your turn. Being sorry is most important. Being sorry is the most important part is that it comes straight from the heart. Good night. Goodbye. Let other people know that you are sad to see them go. Now it's time to go to bed. There's nothing more that needs to be said except the words sleep well, good night, which let you which let you know that it is all right. So, Miss Clavel, please turn out the lights on this book of How to Be Polite. The end. Great job, guys. So, I want us to talk about the characters in this book really quick. 
So there weren't a lot of characters that we really got to know by name, but there is one main character. We talked about her in the beginning, and it showed us a lot of pictures of her the whole way through. Who do you think that character is? Because that character is Madeline. She's the one who spilled juice on herself, and she was in a lot of our pictures. She's our little red-haired friend right here. So we ought to see her a lot. And then what was this book all about? What was this book trying to teach us? Great. The book is trying to teach us how to be polite. And when you're polite, that means you use your manners, you say please and thank you, and you're really caring and helpful of others. It told us a couple of ways we can be caring and helpful. Can you guys share some of those with me? How can we be caring of others? How can we be helpful? And how can we use our manners? Just tell me one way. Great, we can say please and thank you. We can greet everyone by saying hello. What else can we do? We can say sorry if there is an accident. Good. We can help others clean. Great. All right, so that's the end of our story, guys. Bye.